Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnishi. I'm CCNA and CCMP Certified Instructor. On this video, we are covering CCNA Security Chapter 2, Securing Network Devices. So, assigning password and local authentication does not prevent the device from being targeted for attack. The Cisco IOS Login Enhancement provides more security by slowing them down attacks such as dictionary attacks or DOS attacks. So what you want to do if somebody's doing a dictionary attack, it's just going to bombard your router with different passwords and making sure, you know, trying to guess the right one. So here with iOS, we can enable so we can slow that down. So we can say, okay, well, if somebody is trying to log in block, we trying to log in uh, three wrong attempts. So with three times they put the wrong password within one minute, right? We're going to block them for 600 seconds. So that what we're saying here is like, okay, well, if somebody mistyped the password three times, if within one minute they typed it three times wrong, then we're going to block them for 600 seconds. So login block for 600 seconds. You can do as many as you want, seconds you want here. Um, attempt three, so if somebody tries three, three times wrong, within 60 seconds, they, can, they will be blocked for 600 seconds. Now, if somebody tries once and then waits 60 seconds and then tries again, this is never going to be blocked in for 600 seconds. Here, what we're trying to do is we want to slow down the dictionary attack. Because if you don't do this, then somebody within 60 seconds can send thousands and thousands of tries and you know they, they might guess the right password. Enabling a detection profile allows you to configure network devices to react to repeated failed login attempts by reducing further connection requests or login blocking. This block can be configured for a period of time, which is called a quiet period. Access control list can be used to permit the legitimate connection from address of known system administrator. So now, what you can do, the login quiet mode command maps out to an ACL that identifies the permitted host. This ensures that only authorized hosts can attempt to log into the router. So login quiet mode it's like, for example, say, okay, well, we only want to log in from this IP addresses. Nobody else will be able to log in. It doesn't matter. There's no, there's no any any attempts. You know, you can't, you can not attempt at all. So only from whatever says this ACL, those PCs that will should be able to log in. So create an access control list, well, named ACL called Permit Managers. And we permit in the IP address 192.168.1.51. Only this IP address will be able to log into our uh, device. No any other. Even this IP address, if they fail for three times, they will be blocked for 600 seconds. But only this address is actually going to be able to try and log in. No any other IP address. The login delay command specify a number of seconds that a user must wait between unsuccessful, unsuccessful login attempts. So, you know, when you press, put the wrong password, then how, how many seconds before you say, oh no, you got it wrong? Default three seconds. Configuring SSH. Now, enhancing the login for